It's fantastic for Mikel. I mean, he's going, certainly going in the right direction. It's just a shame they've got a juggernaut in Man City up there and they can't beat him. Um, you know, the, the return, trophy return, is not fantastic, is it? One FA Cup. <laughs> but that aside, it's, it's, it's not because of the job he's doing. It's because how good Man City are and Pep Guardiola. Um, his numbers are incredible. I think he's a top man. I think he's a very, very good manager. He looks to get the year of all of his players. Um, I think his recruitment's been fantastic as well. It's a big game tomorrow. He needs to find solutions because he's got. It looks like he's got a couple of injuries. He will uh, suspension to Declan Rice and injury to Odegaard if he if he's out. He's got to find a solution to that. You know, two of your most consistent performers to go to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and get maximum points can be very difficult for him. Mercy's absolutely right. For in my eyes, I'm a North London boy. This is the biggest game in the world for me. I mean, this this is everything. I mean, I'm talking about this game now, and my palms are sweating. You know, just even thinking about it. This is an incredible game of football and it never lets you down, ever. Anyone down. This is about goals. And even more so with Ange Postacoglu. We know what he's like. He won't care who's playing for Arsenal. He won't care if Declan Rice all of a sudden gets back in, which he ain't going to be, or Odegaard plays. He will play his own way with, with Tottenham and they will go for the jugular tomorrow. It will be a fantastic game of football.